Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to continue with personal questions. Remember, personal questions is when a person asks us about our age, our name, the name of our father, or the name of our mother. Recuerden, chicos, que las palabras, las preguntas personales son preguntas que nos hacen acerca de nuestro nombre, que somos, eh, nuestra edad, cuál es el nombre de nuestros familiares. Todas esas se llaman preguntas personales. Okay. Y las preguntas personales recuerden que son, las respuestas son de acuerdo a nuestra, a nuestra información. Okay. Very good. So, uh, we're going to have a review before we enter to this final stage of personal questions. We're going to have a final review of the first part. Now, do you remember when the teacher asked, what is your name? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? My name is Jacob. Okay. The second question was about the age. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? I am 10 years old. Yo tengo 10 años. The next question was, what's, uh, who are you? ¿Quién eres? ¿Qué eres? Who are you? ¿Qué eres? I am a teacher. If I ask you, who are you? I am a student. Recuerden que si yo les pregunto a ustedes, who are you? ¿Qué son? I am a student. Okay? Then we have, what is your father's name? ¿Cuál era el nombre de su papá? My father's name is Sergio. What is your mother's name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de tu mamá? My mother's name is Lupita. Okay? Now remember, it's very important that you practice these questions with the rest of your family. You can ask these questions to an uncle or to your cousin. Recuerden que estas preguntas, ustedes las pueden realizar en casita, a lo mejor con un tío o con un primo. Okay, it's very important that you practice it. Now, the final part of the personal questions are two. These two questions are part of your Teddy book, of the exercise of your Teddy book. So once again, if you want to work along with the teacher, you have five seconds to grab your book and your pencil. Okay, so one, two, three, Four, five. Let's begin. Now, once again, the activity of today is located right here in this page. We have two questions. The first question, it says, what is, what is your sister's name? If you remember the word sister in Spanish, hermana. Okay? What is your sister's name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de tu hermana? For example, in the case of the teacher Jacob, I don't have a sister. Okay? I don't have a sister. But we can use the name of a cousin. A cousin in this case of a girl. Okay? Recuerden, en este caso, el teacher Jacob, como ejemplo, yo no tengo hermanas. Pero podemos utilizar el nombre a lo mejor de una prima. So, to answer the first question, we answer it this way. Once again, what is your sister's name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de su hermana? Yo utilizaré el nombre de mi prima. Her name is Mary. Su nombre es Mary. Her name is, and here in this line, you write the name. If you have a sister, you write the name. If you don't have a sister, you can write the name of a cousin. Aquí, eh, en esta línea, si tienen ustedes una hermana, ponen su nombre. Si no tienen hermana, pueden poner el nombre de su primo. In my case, I don't have a sister, so I'm gonna use my cousin. Mary. Okay? 
Then, for the second personal question of today, it says, what is, the, what is your brother's name? What is your brother's name? Remember the word brother in Spanish, hermano. In my case, I have a brother. Her name is, his name is Sergio. Okay? So, once again, in this slide, you write the name of your brother. Once again, if you don't have a brother, okay, you can use the name of one of your cousins. Si ustedes no tienen hermanos, pueden poner el nombre de uno de sus primos. Okay? His name, su nombre, is Sergio. Now, remember my children that in your book you have two lines. It's the same answer. Recuerden que la misma respuesta, one using normal letter, the other using cursive letter. Remember, the teacher Jacob doesn't like cursive letters, so you, uh, you copy the same words, you copy it on the second line. Vuelven a poner el nombre con letra normal en la segunda línea. If you want to use cursive letters, there is no problem. Si ustedes quieren utilizar letras cursivas, no hay ningún problema. Okay, also very important, don't forget to trace the letters, okay, normal letter, cursive letters, in order to become visible. Recuerden chicos que las palabras punteadas para que se vuelvan visibles necesitamos remarcarlas, así es que también es parte de su ejercicio, no se les olvide esa parte. Now, before we finish, my children, let's have one final review of this second part of personal questions. Repeat after me, please. What is your sister's name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de tu hermana? And number two, what is your brother's name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de tu hermano? Very good. Now, once again, my children, these two questions, you can ask them with any familiar uh, that lives in your home. You can ask them to your mother, to your father, to your uncle, to your grandfather, to your grandmother. Recuerden, chicos, que estas preguntas, ustedes las pueden practicar en casa con sus tíos, con sus papás, con sus, eh, con sus abuelitos, con sus amigos. Las pueden practicar para que de esa forma pues puedan eh, comprender y entender un poquito mejor el idioma, okay? So, that's it for today, my children. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Have an excellent day. Remember, the teacher Jacob loves you very much. Take care. Good.